Hello and welcome to the Renal Transplant Unit here at Jimmy's. This set of films have been made to provide information about kidney transplantation. Undergoing a successful kidney transplant will generally make you feel better, give you more energy and lengthen your life. However, unfortunately only about a third of patients who have severe kidney disease are fit enough to undergo kidney transplantation. And this is because you need to be fit enough to undergo major surgery. It's important to realise that having a kidney transplant is not a guarantee of success. If you receive a kidney from a deceased donor, then the chances of the kidney failing within the first 12 months are approximately 3 out of every 50 transplants. If you receive a transplant from a living donor, the chances of success are higher, with only 2 out of every 50 transplants failing within the first 12 months. After 5 years, kidneys from a deceased donor will fail in approximately 3 out of every 20 cases, whereas kidneys from a living donor will fail in only 2 out of every 20 cases. After undergoing a successful renal transplant, you will need to take anti-rejection drugs to prevent rejection of a transplanted kidney. So in a way, undergoing a kidney transplant is like swapping one lifelong condition for another, albeit one where you enjoy a greater quality of life and live for longer. The benefits of undergoing a renal transplant extend not only to the person who receives it, but also to their family and friends. It's often possible to resume normal activities and to undergo normal holidays. In many ways, it allows the whole family to get back to normal. Usually, the best type of kidney transplant to receive is a kidney transplant from a living donor, and this is for four reasons. Firstly, when you receive a kidney from a living donor, you can plan the date and time of the operation at the convenience of both yourself and your donor. In contrast, receiving a kidney from a deceased donor usually occurs as an emergency operation in the middle of the night. Secondly, if you receive a kidney from a living donor, you won't have to wait. If you receive a kidney from a deceased donor, you will have to wait on the UK transplant waiting list and the average waiting time is now approaching three years. Thirdly, when you receive a kidney from a living donor, that person will generally have undergone an extensive medical workup. This means that on average, living donors are fitter and younger than deceased donors who often have significant vascular disease, such as a stroke. This means that the quality of kidneys from living donors is generally better than that from deceased donors. Finally, when the operation occurs, the kidney remains outside of the body for less time in the living donor situation generally between two and four hours. In contrast, a kidney from a deceased donor usually spends between 12 and 24 hours outside of the body, and during that time it undergoes more significant damage. Kidney transplantation from living donors has become increasingly common over the last two decades, and this is for a number of reasons. Firstly, the donor operation has become a lot simpler, and secondly, we are able to do transplants that were not previously possible, and perhaps the best example of this is transplants between pairs who are blood group incompatible. This set of films have been made as an introduction to the kidney transplantation process and it's likely that there will be a number of questions that remain as you watch them. We have a number of specialist nurses and doctors who will be more than happy to answer your queries when you come to clinic. Please feel free to write down your questions whilst you're watching these films and address them when you next come to see us. I hope you enjoy the films.